I know that one of the questions was about flying in turbulence. Um, and I think it's one of the most important areas uh, of all, and it's not covered very much. You know, they, uh, in AFF, they just say, well, just, you know, either they'll say fly it in brakes, you know, the old school attitude, which is, has been proven to be erroneous because it slows down the energy in the canopy, which reduces the internal pressurization. And it also reduces the pitch stability, right? The faster you're flying, the more stable your pitch is because you got more drag to keep the parachute back there, you know, sort of anchored to that high angle of attack uh, that gives you the line tension because it's got lots of lift. So, uh, so we, we're throwing that away. But the other one they say is just fly, fly through it. Just hands up, just let it breathe and bounce. And don't let it bother you. Well, uh, that's not totally true either because there are times where the canopy does an aggressive forward surge, right? So the one that we see a lot of is right before the flare, canopy surges forward. And you can tell uh, before the person smacks the ground and everybody comes running, um, is that suddenly from a frontal view, you'll see a lot of the canopy's top skin appear. Whereas all you saw was nose or bottom skin, depending on where you're standing. But suddenly as the pitch tips forward from the loss of drag on the canopy, it didn't lose airspeed in this case. It lost drag because it's going through a parcel of air that is, you know, descending or turbulent uh, in some other way. So you're losing lift. You're losing line tension um, as a result of the loss of drag. And so how do you get that drag back? What's the fastest way to grab drag up there on the canopy? It's it's the the things with the yellow loops. <laughs> But, but, it's, but it's not, oh, no, I'm hitting turbulence. It's not a gentle maneuver. It's also not a big maneuver. It's a small little spike of the brakes that will move the canopy to a higher angle of attack. Now, if you happen to be flying in rears, you can do that with the rears, but it doesn't move the pitch as quickly because it doesn't offer as much drag, and it's the drag that's moving it. It's true that increasing the angle of attack, you know, by increasing the angle of incidence, right, that's the fixed angle uh, with respect to the pitch axis, you know, so the, the wing might have a fixed angle. So, so some, you look at the elevator on some airplanes, um, you know, the wing might be at this angle and the elevator might be like this or like this. It might have a negative airfoil on, on the, uh, on the tail. So, um, there's, there's a lot of, uh, stuff that balances the stability of an aircraft. Um, and the bottom line is that, uh, what, what actuates a parachute's pitch changes quickest is the institution of drag, you know, is to give that little spike and then release the toggle slowly back up. So this is collapse prevention 101. Um, the other part that, that gets, um, hopefully is getting more conversation than before is how do you turn? If you're using a lot of toggle, you're asking for trouble. So when you bury a toggle, we know that it, it causes a lot of drag, which gets you a little out of sorts with respect to the yaw axis right? Because it's one wingtip pulling back. And then when you let it off, it swings back the other way. You're increasing drag and then releasing drag after the toggle turns done. So it wants to surge forward in the window. You're dropping your nose, asking for trouble, right? Because a collapse is basically, if this is the relative wind and this is your wing, your pitch, your pitch is going more towards neutral, which allows for the airflow around the wing to have kind of a more balanced pressure above and below the wing. And you want the pressure above the wing to be a lot less. You want the, the sculpting of the air mass to you know, kind of follow the curve of the wing over the top and have that be the dominant high speed air around your canopy. And so given that, um, it's, it's quite important to maintain a positive angle of attack and a lot of airspeed and have your nose pointed where you're going at all times. And toggles are really good at, you know, just like burying a, a, a paddle when you're kayaking, you develop some speed and you drag a paddle. That is not how you want to go through the aggressive air. You want to be nose at the wind. And so that can be done by maneuvering with the harness. It can be done by a combination of harness rears. But if you know you're in turbulence, you might want to be grabbing the rears a little lower so that you can have an immediate response, right? harness rear smooth maneuvers um, can be a wonderful way to cut through bad air. Um, and that's usually what I'll do um, when I know it's really bouncy. And I'll, I'll even sort of keep turns going when I'm up high 
not through the pattern, obviously, but I'm up at, you know, 1,500 feet and above, if I know it's really ratty air, really, really rough stuff, thermals, you know, going up and down and, and all that stuff, or even, you know, mechanical turbulence from mountains and things, loads of energy in the canopy, loads of airspeed, and not lots of drag to slow it down. So when we go mountain flying, we don't, we get off the toggles. We're, I mean, it's not like we let go of our toggles. They're in our hands, but we're not pulling down on the tail of the parachute. We're primarily steering with front risers and harness down the mountain. And if you need to flatten out, you, you try to go to the rears and keep the energy, but change the, the direction of flight, you know, nose it up a little bit, but you still keep that energy. As soon as you go to slower airspeed, even just, you know, quarter brakes, you're not only losing that surge uh, prevention that's associated with the high airspeed, but also you're changing the shape of the airfoil. Right, so when you consider the shape of your wing, the fattest point, the, the greatest amount of delta in terms of the, the change of direction of the airflow around the wing as it follows the curve, they call the coanda effect. Just like you're, you're in the shower and the water follows your arm, right? It's due to the stickiness of the air, the viscosity of the air. It sticks to things and it wants to follow a curve. And so given that, when I pull toggles down and I deform the airfoil, when you look at the overall camber of the wing, the overall shape of this wing, you're actually moving the, the highest point of the airfoil, the center of lift, further aft, further towards the tail. So you're deloading the front risers a little. Does that make sense? So by holding brakes, your front risers now can get floppy on you. Whereas if you're flying with the tail up and you're on the rears and you're on the fronts, and you're primarily instituting your role with harness, then you're you're kind of in the best case scenario. Um, that that I mean, obviously there's limits. You know, if it's that bad, yeah, you might be dealing with collapses. Uh, you could be dealing with any number of possible ugliness. <laughs> but we'll get we'll get to that part of it. But I feel like prevention uh, is your number one. You know, so in other words, you know, I know that it's turbulent. Well, my first option is stay on the ground. You know go get a veggie burger in town. Um, but if I find myself in the air for whatever reason, and I feel that the canopy's bouncing all around, airspeed, 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 charge at it, even though you feel like, well, but my wing is in front of me when I'm in a turn. It is, right? In general, unless you're doing a breaking high angle of attack turn, the canopy wants to, to gradually tip towards nose down. But just because the parachute's in front of you, doesn't mean you're at a low angle of attack. And I know that comes off as confusing at, at face value, but the angle of attack is about the wing with respect to its direction of motion. So if you're in a turn, you're steeper. And so even though the parachute's in front of you, you're, you're going at this flight angle, and the wing is at this angle with respect to that, you're actually you know, at as high or higher angle of attack than you are in full flight. <laughs> and you've induced stability by carrying the airspeed. 